Hey Vipers, these are the Viper updates for the week of April 12th to April 16th. Just a reminder that we are on a testing schedule for this week and that all students, whether they are in person or at home, they need to complete the health screener each day. The building is open for students beginning at 810. Students and staff need to wear masks at all times. And Verado High School is a closed campus. Reminder that students are not able to leave campus during lunch to go off campus for lunch. And then finally, parking is free for students this year. And students, please use the West parking lot. Okay, going into this week's schedule. This week, we have two state assessments that are going on. On Monday, we will give the state science assessment for juniors. Juniors will arrive on campus for testing and will test from 8.30 to 10.50. All other non-testing students, which would be the 9th graders, the 10th graders, and the 12th graders, they will arrive on campus at 11 a.m. And we will do a shortened class schedule and we'll do classes one through three. If you are a bus rider, your bus will arrive two and a half hours later than your normal pickup time during these testing days. On Tuesday, we give the state writing assessment to sophomores. Sophomores arrive on campus for testing at 8.30, and testing is from 8.30 to, to 10.50. And then all other non-testing students will arrive on campus at 11 o'clock for a late start, which will be 9th graders, 11th graders, and 12th graders. And that will take place, and we will cover classes 4 through 6 on Tuesday. Wednesday, we are doing a normal Wednesday schedule for remote students. So if you're an in-person student, you're not on campus on Wednesday. At home students, you do have your normal, uh, normally scheduled check-in with your teachers on Wednesday. Thursday will be a, uh, a normal class schedule for classes four through six. So Thursday will actually look like a Friday, Friday schedule. And then Friday, we don't have school this week. So April 16th, no school on Friday. Okay, the reminders for athletic updates. Uh, remember that boys volleyball can be watched via live stream on the NFHS network. And masks are required to be worn by all spectators for both indoor and outdoor events. We have another busy week of events. So here's what we have coming up. First, we have girls tennis. They play Canyon View at home on Tuesday. They play at Dysert on Wednesday and they have Combs High School on Thursday at Verado. Boys travel to Canyon View on Tuesday. They're at home Wednesday against Dysert, and then they are away at Combs High School on Thursday. Baseball has a uh, light week of games this week. Uh, JV and freshmen play versus Agua Fria on Tuesday at home at four o'clock. Friday, the varsity team is at Canyon View at seven o'clock, and JV and freshmen play Canyon View at 4.30 on Friday at home. Softball has uh, Abu Fria at home on Tuesday for the varsity. And our JV team travels to Abu Fria on Tuesday. Friday, the JV and varsity play Canyon View. JV travels to Canyon View for a 3.45 uh, first pitch. And varsity plays at home versus Canyon View 6 o'clock on Friday. Beach Volleyball plays two home matches this week. The ladies take on Shadow Ridge on Monday and then Millennium High School on Wednesday. Boys Volleyball plays Millennium at home on Tuesday and they travel to Independence on Thursday. And track, both the boys and girls varsity and JV teams travel to Estrella Foothills on Wednesday. The boys get started at 2 o'clock and the girls will begin at 4. And again, as a reminder, we are doing state testing this week. The AZ Science exam is the state science exam. That's tomorrow, Monday, April 12th for juniors. And then our testing for uh, sophomores begin, AZM2, which is the state writing assessment. That's on Thursday for, I'm sorry, on Tuesday, April 13th for sophomores. And again, reminder during this time, classes start at 11 a.m. for non-testers. Next week, we'll have the state reading assessment and the state math assessment for sophomores. And then we will also be doing the CTE technical skills assessments for sophomores, juniors, and seniors. That'll be next week as well on April 20th. The ASVAB test is an uh, assessment 
that is available and optional for juniors and seniors this year. Seniors and juniors, if you're interested in taking the ASVAB, please use the link that's attached to this message in order to sign up. And testing will take place in the morning on Thursday, April 29th at Verado High School. Senior updates, reminder that cap and gowns can be picked up in the bookstore at this time. And graduation is on May 15th at noon, and four tickets are at this time allotted per graduate. Graduation speech auditions will be coming up on April 19th, 20th, and 21st. If any senior is interested in auditioning to be a speaker at graduation, please use the form that is linked to this message so you can sign up. And Verado Community will we once again doing a senior graduate parade. This will be on May 13th, and we will have more details to come in the following weeks. So that's it for now. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Good luck to all of our testers, juniors tomorrow, and then our sophomores on Tuesday. But that's it for now. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out. Take care, everybody. Stay safe, stay connected, and please let us know if you need anything. Have a great night. One Verado.